In this video, we're going to take a look at cross elasticity of demand, which measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded of product B to a change in the price of product A. And we're going to look at two products here, drink A and drink B. And we're going to put them at the same starting price of $1. And we're going to give them an equal amount of quantity demanded of 100. Now, following a price drop of product A to 65 cents, so we're going to say this product's price dropped from $1 to 65 cents, there's been a change in the quantity demanded for each product. The new quantity demanded for A has changed to 125, whereas the new quantity demanded for product B has dropped to 50. So when we calculate the percent change in quantity demanded, we're going to use the quantity demanded figures for product B. But when we calculate the percent change in price, we're going to use the price information for product A. So the way that calculates is we have a new quantity demanded of 50 for product B. So we subtract 100, which is the original quantity demanded, and we divide by the original quantity demanded of 100. I multiply by 100%. And then we're going to do the same thing with the price of product A. We take the new price minus the old price divided by the old price times 100%. And that should give us minus 50% divided by minus 35%, which is equal to a positive 1.43. So the cross elasticity of demand is equal to positive 1.43, uh, which really means the following. First, we're going to take a look at the positive value. And what that tells us is that these two goods are substitutes. Then we take a look at the numerical value. It's greater than 1, which indicates that there's a strong relationship. So first we look at the sign, then we look at the size. The sign tells us here that there's substitutes. The size tells us here that there's a strong relationship. Now let's take a look at two goods that are related in a different way. which are uh, the tennis racket and the tennis ball. So we're going to say the tennis racket is priced at $100 and the tennis ball is priced at $2. The quantity demanded of the tennis racket is 100 and the quantity demanded of tennis balls is 300. Following a price drop for tennis rackets to $90, the quantity demanded for each product changes. For rackets, it increases to 120 and for balls, it increases from 300 to 400. So when we calculate the cross elasticity of demand, what we want to do is to take a look at the percent change in quantity demanded for balls divided by the percent change in price for rackets. So we take the new value for quantity demanded for balls, which is 400. We subtract out the original, 300, and divide by it, and multiply by 100%. Then we take a look at the price of rackets, and we take the new price of rackets, subtract the old, divide by the old, and multiply by 100%. Now, if we follow this through, it gets us a value of positive 33% divided by minus 10%. So the cross elasticity of demand is equal to minus 3.3. And what that means, really, what that means to us is that it's a negative 3.3. The negative sign tells us that these two goods are complements, that they're used together or consumed together. And then the value of 3.3, which is much greater than 1, tells us there is a strong relationship here. Again, we take a look at the sign, and then we look at the size. The sign, if it's negative, tells us they're complements. If it's positive, it tells us they're substitutes. Then we take a look at the size of the number. If the bigger the number, the stronger the relationship. The smaller the number, the weaker the relationship. 